96 was so stacked with talent, such as the way wrestling tournaments work, it's a random draw. Pawan Kumar, strong, stocky figure. This is the man he's up against. Commonwealth champion of Pakistan, Mohammed Inam. 2010, he won this category. Well, back then it was the 84 kilo category. They've all slightly changed since the Olympics. Mr. Gary Bird of Canada will be overseeing as our referee. And he is a fairly strict referee, that's for sure. So there'll be uh, no messing around here allowed. Pakistan in red, India in blue. This for the bronze medal and uh, don't start before my whistle he says <laughs> yes as you said colin both of these talented wrestlers could have graced the final but as you said the draw stacked against them but a great start there by the indian straight in for the leg and the takedown and the two points what a start and it's not often you say the reigning commonwealth champion Stands a very good chance of losing the bronze medal match four years later, but that is what he's facing right now because this Indian is very mean. Yes, yeah, probably not happy to be in a bronze medal position. Most of the Indians have been in the final. So desperately want to take this bronze. But then, a single leg there. Can he get him to the ground? Needs to get the knee down. Yes, gets the two points. Two points for the takedown. He got round behind before uh, the Indian who was trying to make his way to the blue could do it. So, to a piece. They look, uh, they look well matched, don't they? Yes, absolutely, yeah. Perhaps uh, the stronger of the two, the Indian, he's so squat and thickly built. But the Pakistani we've seen at the last Commonwealth just full of tricks. Yes, this 86 kilo men's freestyle category was stacked with talent. But the Canadian referee getting stuck in there, Mr. Bird, <laughs> slapping the hand on the goes. back of the neck of the Indian. And uh, the Indian shoots here. He's got the power to pull it in. No, it's a reversal, perhaps. No one's got dominance here just yet. Well, that was such a tussle, and nobody got the point in the end. Great defensive work by both. So quick for big men, aren't they? Oh, they are indeed, and just a little warning there to both men. You can't put two hands behind the head, and you cannot twist and bend the other man's fingers. Yes, one hand behind the head and use the arm to pull them down or snap them down. But yeah. two hands behind the head is illegal. Referee, he yeah, is letter of the law. Again. He's just doing it again. I think he's going to come in here. He slaps away the hand. He's trying to keep it flowing. Yeah, it's dangerous as well. He's trying for the slap down there. He shoots in for the double leg. But doesn't quite get it. He'll have to defend there now on the ground, the Indian. Kumar's trying to stay strong there. And he gets turned, he gets rolled. Two points, he got him on his back. Wow. And now on top, he, what can he do? He's going to have about 10 seconds to do something. Pretty quick there, the referee brings them back to their feet. Well, he was quick there into the roll. If you turn your opponent over 90 degrees on the floor, you get those two points. Two points for the throw, of course. And four points if you throw them on their back, a takedown. Or you can win by a pin or a fall. Or ten points superiority. Ten clear points from your opponent. And the match will be over. I can't see that happening here. These two are very well matched. Attack red. Ten seconds left. Attack red, shouts Mr. Bird, our referee. And he's got to be careful, the Pakistani athlete, or he will be potentially penalised straight away. Or a 30-second clock put up against him, and he'd have to score within that period. But we're at the halfway mark now, 
30 seconds of rest. Well, this could go either way. Here we go. The first points for the Indian. Shoots in there for the single leg takedown. And gets the two points. He had his arms around him to go for the gut drench, but it didn't work. And this is the comeback. There it goes. Gets the gut drench and the two points. Back out they come. Final period, three minutes to decide this bronze medal final in the 86 kilo class. India in blue, Pakistan in red. Four points. The Pakistani in the lead at the moment, ahead of the Indian on two. slaps just a dummy to the Indian and then dives in does uh, Inam but Kumar's too quick on his feet to uh, allow his leg to be taken there yeah they're both so quick you want to get get your grip and get in the right position and move your opponent before you shoot for the leg just to make sure there he goes That's good defense there by the Indian. But his knee's gonna start being twisted here. Yes, he's got hold of his knee. Yes, oh. and he comes him over. Two points to the red, two to the blue. Well, this could go either way, couldn't it? It happened so fast. Minute 40 left of this bout. Pakistan still just ahead. The Indian supporters cheering on their man here. He's two pounds behind. Needs to do something. Well, he's going to be warned for passivity. That's his first warning. So he must attack now. The second warning will result in a 30 second clock appearing where he must score or risk giving away a point. a minute now Mr. Bird shouting at them to get stuck in I think it's pretty equal in terms of passivity both just waiting for that tiny opening 30 seconds the warning to the Indian so Kumar has to do something now or he'll give up one point and uh, right now he's 2-0 to two points down 6-4 so he's in a, a bad position really yeah, he needs a four-point throw now. That's the only thing he can do. Can he get it? Can he lift him onto his back? Two won't do. He needs four. He's reeling him in, pulling in that leg. He gets round behind for two points. It is six apiece. Brilliant. The Indian is winning now. Remember, it's done on the highest scoring moves, cautions, and then on to the last point. The Pakistani athlete knows it. He's charging. Three seconds left. Can he get a takedown and reverse this? Well, the referee says no. And that's it then. The Indian will take the bronze medal. They're brought back to their feet. Oh, I, I just wish we had another period of this because it really deserves it. Yes, yeah, so it finished six point all, because, but because Kuma scored the last two points, he will win. So that's another medal for India, this time a bronze. They both scored three two-pointers.
But the Indian scored the last one, so he gets the bronze medal. Kumar, the champion of this bronze medal match. Let's look at the end here. Pakistani was desperately trying his best, but Kumar outmuscled him. Yes, he got that 30 second warning, didn't he? He had to go for it, and he certainly did. And those last two points counted as he was the final man to score. Gets another bronze and another medal for India. John Melling, John, very, very close matchup, and this Pakistani athlete in and will feel pretty disappointed. The Commonwealth champion goes away with nothing from these games. Yeah, it was within 10 seconds of taking that medal then, but it was such an active match. I was so impressed by both wrestlers' balance, the way that they fought every point, and then turned defense into attack. I thought it was a, a brilliant exhibition of wrestling. Indian draped in his flag, held his nerve.